Welcome back to the campaign map, guys. Now, the prisoners captured. Now, originally, I actually didn't want to fight that Mordor army. And uh, coming from that perspective, I definitely don't want to execute. I definitely don't want to release. I will accept a ransom because we do need a little bit of money. But it got rejected anyway, so. Eh, meh. Shit happens. Um, there's only a couple of turns left, so. Uh, oh, going through the turns. I think we're quite capable of going through it. Um, if it takes any long, a lot longer than, uh, if it takes a lot longer than it should be, I will obviously pause because of this Moz subbot, it actually takes forever. Uh, it was the Lorien, are they trying to bribe Amon Lank? Hopefully not. But yeah, that was a really exciting battle. Uh, unfortunately, we're at war with Mordor, which is just fucking ridiculous. Um, the turn times are not too bad, but, um, thinking of stuff to talk about does get quite tedious and uh, I'm sure most of you guys don't like watching the turn base. Um, things we've already skipped a couple of factions because we did that battle so we won't get to see all that. But to be honest it, it adds up, it really does. Um, especially imagine doing like, uh, I don't know how many turns I get through an episode <laughs> depending on how long I crap on about but having that it does uh, add up and it is rather tedious. At the moment I'm just talking about how the turns are tedious, fucking hell. Well, um, I don't really know what that thing there is, but... Oh, awesome! Tol Anshard invoked on Dol Amroth, called by Lord Masagonza. Uh Vengeance came, a mighty promise to the followers of Melkor. First declared, well, I did it in the first age, now... Okay. Because they took Dol Amroth. Okay, so that means it's basically, in other words, an invasion. So uh, let's have a look at this diplomatic information. We're at war with Mordor at the moment. Uh, okay, they're still allies. I don't know why that showed that again. Relation support, Mordor, Mordor, very poor. Okay. Well, what do you expect? There's an Isengard fleet there. What the hell? Um, I will actually save. But the thing is. Should I actually join the invasion? Hmm. Because I did say I would join the counter invasions. I did say that. But looking at that, uh, like it's basically a crusade for us. Uh, oh wait, hang on. Just quickly get uh, what's his face out here for a sec. What the hell? I thought we'd be able to do it. Maybe I didn't read it properly. I don't know. Maybe we can't do it this turn. But, um, yeah, I don't think it would be in my best interest to move this army down south, seeing how vulnerable uh, our eastern frontier is. And I really want to take some of these provinces, depending on where I want to move on first. Um, I will move my spy just this way. Uh, I think the dwarves should be able to take this back quite comfortably. They do have a rather strong military. Look at that. I was going to say, holy shit. From what I can remember, they had a shitload of dragon slayers. So once I take that, I might actually move on their capital. And maybe kill their heir, because looking there at the moment, uh, there, are two there are two stacks, and uh, I don't really want to fight that army on the left there. Holy shit. And... Uh, I think once we take their province and kill their, they will lose a, they will lose a lot of income and they won't be able to afford the army. So troops will go missing, uh, evidently. But um, how are we going here? We do have some more troops, which is good. Always good to see. Eh, I think that's nothing really too else apart from that battle. Yeah, I think we're pretty well. I, I think we're pretty well right. Uh, we can look at the family tree. We haven't looked at that in a while. Still a while until people come of age. But um, yeah, that that battle was fucking awesome. I'm really happy about that. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next turn. Okay, welcome back. Oh, a town Reddit upgrade. Fascinating. Um, we can't actually do it because. Should we ever do that? Um, it's 1800, but well, we don't have enough. We're spending so much on military, and having this army in the field is costing us a lot. 
Um, but we're going to be getting in use rather shortly. Um, ah, the Dwarven Army got beaten back here, unfortunately, which isn't good to see. Um, how are we going here? My Lord. As in uh, unit-wise. Because I think they must have moved most of their troops up. Or, yeah, they had a full stack there. That's moving away. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, I'm still... We're going to move either on... Uh, Ro Roman? I think that's how you say his name. But it's like with a H. So, Roman. I don't know. Uh, Mataram. Keg... Vod? Keg... 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 Vod. Kagvod, my friend. Have a shot of Kagvod. It sounds like a drink. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, depending on where they're the weakest and uh, most vulnerable. I was going to march on their capital. I think it's the capital. No, it's not. That's awkward. Maybe that's the capital. Where is their capital? Maybe that's the capital. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I was going to march on this settlement here, but then the dwarves lost uh, Kagvod. Uh, we do have some more troops here, which I'm liking. Um, I might need to send another lot around, but seeing as we're at war with Mordor, I do... Uh, <laughs> are they mil is their military prowess still, like, crazy? It's actually gotten bigger. That is far out. <laughs> it's kind of my fault. Settings I didn't give. Uh, I didn't use the garrison strip. It's good for me and a, like a let's player's perspective, but for other factions, Gondor just got steamrolled. It actually did. It is far route. It really did. And uh, I don't know if I gave anything special to Morbidor, but I think they're just overpowered in this mod. It'd be kind of cool to play them, uh, play as being such an empowerful force and just pretty much be able to annihilate anyone. But yeah, I don't know if whether I'll do Mordor or not. We'll have to see. So uh, yeah. Okay, welcome back to the top of the turn. Another rune agent is detected. That's not surprising, seeing we're occupying their lands. <gasps> a family member's been born, and it's to Geith. Come on, please be a dude. Please be a guy. <coughs> Praise the fucking Lord. Thank God he had a son. Is What the fuck? Istutun. What a weird name. Thank God. Finally, we're going to stop getting general announcements to marry... Or adopt someone, maybe aloof. <laughs> um, hang on, if he's aloof, then is he better being? Uh, oh, he's actually better. Anyway, um, that's good. I'm real quite happy about that. Oh, we can actually recruit troops. Nice. Um, recruitment report. Diplomatic information. Free people was Eridor. <laughs> what? Free people of Eridor are at war with Harad. That's that's weird. Wild men of Dunland are allies with Mordor. I thought thought that had already been up before. Maybe it was with Isengard before. Um, mission to take that settlement. Um, I don't think our troops are going to get there in time unless we go straight there. No, we won't be able to take it. Well, we do have this army coming into Mithrand. I will actually take. Uh, yeah, what's that, 3%? Yeah, we don't have that much money. I'm actually going to move this general back down. I'm going to give him the command. And uh, I need to decide whether or not which settlement I'm going to attack. How is Rune military-wise? They're just a little bit above me. But um, we don't have access to uh, all our troops. That's all our troops in general. <gasps> oh! That's interesting to see. Uh, I was actually thinking of moving troops out, but I don't think that's going to be the case now. Um, is there some better troops we can move in, uh, such as taking Merkwood Stalkers out? Maybe a lot of Ballista we could get, we could do some, we, we actually could do with some uh, Sylvan Horse Archers. We are recruiting, um, but we can't afford it. Um, yeah, well, there might be another battle uh, coming against these, this lot of, this uh, Mordor army. So, shit's actually happening. We're probably going to take another province off the uh, Easterlings, the Rune. Uh, we're going to keep pushing our Elven Kingdom to the eastern side of the world. Mordor looks like they're about to attack us. 
whether or not I do before. Maybe it's just a kind of a a flexing uh, kind of thing, just showing you, hey, we we can destroy you. But mind you, we went at war with them last time. They did that, and they I think, did they go there? I think they was, they were around about there trying. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think the best bet is for us to actually uh, hold in uh, Amon Lank. Well, I'm just saying if I had any like diplomats or like anything nearby. Translator. Um. Yeah. Um. Just in case, just in case we can kind of see what the army is, because um, from the looks of it, they do have trolls, which isn't good, and they do have some heavy infantry. So we'll have to see how uh, the next turn develops. Um, trading post income, my lord, another batch of goods have arrived from the train post. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is it coming? I don't know. Where, I don't even know how much we're actually getting. Um, I didn't really check before I did. Catapults? What? Um, I don't think we really need ballistic if we've got two lots of catapults, then. I think we're just kind of wasting money at the moment. <laughs> I think I should stop recruiting there. Uh, even though we could recruit a lot of... Um, stuff. Couple of rebels. Anyway, let's actually look down at uh, Amon Lank. Are, they, are we being besieged? Holy shit. Mountain trolls. Four units. Eh, doesn't really look that menacing, to be honest. Um, if we rally out and attack. We're still outnumbered. Um, I probably shouldn't have moved those troops around now, so we might get actually attacked by them. Um, we will build these lot of stronger troops. I did actually build those ballista towers in the in the end. So what do they actually do? Constructing ballista towers, uh, iron bolts. Okay, that should help us a bit taking out some trolls. Um, the thing is, we're not really too happy there, are we? Maybe we should, um, we'll put this general back in there. I think he needs to kind of stay in there. We will actually ambush this, uh, we're not ambush, but we will attack this rune army. Because, how are they looking down here? Hmm. They haven't really got too much. They've only got, like, catapults. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, we lost 150 men, that's not too bad. Uh, and we'll uh, release. I want to be chivalrous. Relationships worse than the room. We'll move this army back. Um, I guess we could rally them up, eh? Just trying to think we could uh, strengthen units, put units into different things. Um, with swords, right? I don't. I think there's too many Merkwood troops. No, there's enough. Um, are there any Sentinels? 